living a healthy lifestyle is not just about the food that you eat, but it's also about being active and exercising. Exercise is probably the last thing you're thinking about after surgery, but it's good to know that you can get back to an active lifestyle. Of course, it will take a little bit of time to get back into your stride after surgery. You'll need to build your strength up again because don't forget that you've been through a lot, you know, your body's had a lot to deal with and obviously it's healing, so um, don't rush into anything. Let yourself kind of rest and recuperate so that you're ready to get back into exercise. The best thing to do is to start with some gentle walking, whether it's around your house or your garden, just to um, build some strength up. Make sure it's slow and steady, don't go rushing around or anything and um, if you feel a bit unsteady or anything just make sure that you're relatively close to somewhere where you can sit down. After your surgery your stoma nurse or your consultant or a healthcare professional would have told you how important it is to make sure that you uh, reduce the risk of a hernia so don't go and you know lift anything too heavy make sure that you don't lift anything heavier than a kettle and especially those first six weeks just make sure that you're really protecting your abdomen just so that when it's healing you're not going to increase the risk of giving yourself a hernia after the first six weeks or so it's probably a good idea to check in with your stoma nurse or a healthcare professional just sort of see how you're doing and to assess whether you are ready to maybe to introduce gentle exercise Things like swimming are great because the water is supporting your weight so you are um, kind of supported and it means that you can like exercise the rest of your muscles without um, increasing that risk of injury. And also don't forget that pouches are waterproof so you don't need to worry about that when you're going off for a swim. Biking is another great exercise because it's low impact and you're not putting too much strain on your abdomen. Um, you can either go outside, you know, a proper bike, or you can get like stationary bikes either in your home or go to the gym and, and do them there. And it's great because you can vary the pace, you can either go really, really slow or really, really sort of intensive. It depends on your fitness level and also whether obviously your seminar said that you can kind of be a bit more active. Don't forget with cycling that if you've had any surgery that involves the removal of your anus or rectum, it will be very sore on an exercise bike. We all know how uncomfortable the you know bike seats are anyway, so just bear that in mind if you've had surgery to remove the rectum or the anus it could be a very uncomfortable so um, maybe just leave it a little bit longer before you try that because like I say you don't want to make it uncomfortable and you don't want to you know cause any other injuries. Yoga is another great option uh, not only is it sort of low impact but it's actually a good stress reliever so especially after an operation you kind of want to do something that will de-stress you and keep you kind of calm and it can be quite therapeutic so yeah yoga is a really really good one. Jogging or running is a really good exercise for your cardio so it really gets the blood pumping but just remember that you know lots of jolting around with running it, you might not be ready for it so make sure you're, you're definitely ready but as long as that's been cleared by your stoma nurse you can go running you can do half marathons you can do full marathons you know whatever uh, fitness level you want however remember with running and jogging and stuff um, and lots of cardio workouts that you will sort of lose those fluids through sweating and stuff so make sure that you replace those fluids with lots of water isotonic drinks such as Lucasade Sport and all those kind of things are great because they get your um, electrolyte balance back to normal just so that you can recover and make sure that you're not dehydrated thankfully lycra was invented my best friend when it comes to sports because a it's really really flexible b it's so comfortable c that some of them are like um good for when you perspire a lot they're good at kind of keeping you dry um so you're not sort of all drenched afterwards um but yeah they're great for supporting an ostomy bag so uh, things like the cycling shorts are good you can get the long ones for when it's colder as well or if you just kind of want to cover up your legs because I've not got the best legs there's lots of different um, sort of like regarments out there which are perfect for um, any kind of sport also if you go swimming um, you can get lots of different kind of swimwear so for the lads you can get like the you can get like the long um, like beach shorts, you know, like the ones with like funky prints on. Uh, they're really good because they tend to be elasticated waists and you can get like the drawstring waists as well, like the pull thing, 
which is good because then you can adjust how high or low the waistband is. For women, you can get um, tankinis or you can get swimsuits with um, like a hidden lining. So it fits, like the bag will fit into that and it kind of keeps it all flat and it keeps it supported. And a lot of the designs for those are kind of very flattering. Some of them have like frills on, um, just to kind of disguise the um, appearance of, of an ostomy bag. Um, Cause obviously as it gets fuller, it may become more noticeable, but the designs of these swimsuits are quite good and generally quite flattering anyway. Um, if you're like me, quite hippie, um, you know, they're quite they're quite nice with the little frills on. Also, if you go for a, a bright top, but a, a plain bottom, so if you've got like a two piece, um, have all the detail on the top and then not so much on the bottom so that the eye is drawn to the top and not the bottom. You can get garments that you can wear around your abdomen um, which help sort of support the abdomen. You can get them that go over the, the ostomy bag so everything's in place. I've seen some where um, you can poke the ostomy bag through but then you're not really supporting the, the area around your stoma are you? You're just kind of that bit's exposed so I don't quite get that. But the ones that just wrap all the way around are perfect because it just keeps everything in place. It also supports the bag, so if you're sort of running or um, you know doing something really active where you're jumping around, at least it keeps it all in place and you're not sort of sloshing around or anything like that. There are lots of different manufacturers out there. Um, you can search for it on Google, um, type in ostomy support garment and there will be lots of information on there. If at any point during your workout you feel like you need to stop, then stop. Don't push yourself. If you're exhausted, it's totally understandable. Just, you know, take a break or even just, you know, just cool down for the rest of that workout and make sure that you stretch and everything as well. Um, you don't want to be causing any further injuries and you just want to make sure that you protect yourself when doing your workouts. And yeah, like I say, if you need to stop, just stop. You know, it's, it's not gonna, um, do you any good of pushing yourself too hard. No matter how small your goal, whether it's to walk down to the end of the street or to go cycling for 20 minutes or um, you know completing one of these really intensive workouts, whatever it is that's your goal, make sure that you are proud of your accomplishments and don't worry about comparing yourself to other people, just focus on yourself and focus on doing it to the best of your ability. So yes, it's definitely possible to be active and healthy with a stoma and you shouldn't let it hold you back. I hope you found this video helpful. Um, if you are into your fitness or if you want to get into your fitness, you know, if you're sort of beginner level, let me know. I'd be really interested to see how you're doing and um, what you're planning on doing over the next few weeks or months or even years. Uh, leave a comment below or tweet at coloplast underscore UK and use the hashtag myostomystory.